What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2003 Honda Accord. I'm gonna use this car to show you where you can find your fuel pump fuse, as well as the fuel pump relay. I'm also gonna show you how you can directly test the fuel pump to see if it's getting power and see if it's working or not. So as far as the fuse, you're gonna access it by pulling this uh, fuse panel out to the side like so. And your fuel pump uh, fuse is gonna be this 15 amp fuse right here. So you can just grab it with some needle nose and pull it right out. You should be able to look through it and see if it's blown or not. Now if you pull that fuse out and it is blown, you'll want to replace it. I strongly urge you to not swap in the one next to it as that, that's for the ignition. Um, a good candidate to swap in that would not interfere with how the car runs. Uh, let's see. Really no good 15 amp fuses under here, so you'll, you'll want to buy one. Uh, that 15 amp is for the ignition coil. Um, yeah, so anyways, that the 15 amp fuse I pulled out, that's for your fuel pump. Now the relay for the fuel pump is going to be tricky to get to. It's actually located up under this trim piece. Now I'm going to be kind of rough with this because this car is in a junkyard. But if, if this were your car, you may want to you know, begin by pulling this piece out like so. Be a little more gentle than what I'm about to show you. But let's go ahead and get into get into where the relay is. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah. So now we can look at all these relays. Now the fuel pump relay, quote unquote, the fuel pump relay. Honda calls it the PGMI relay number two. And that's gonna be that blue relay right there. The one diagonal upper and to the right, that's the main relay number one. And you can remove these, just kind of grab them, wiggle them a little bit, and it will come out like so. Now, if you wanna bypass this relay, you would connect the two pins that are larger together. So you would connect the two pins on the left side together, and that would provide power to the fuel pump. But a better way, we can head over to the fuel pump directly and test it out, see if it's getting power. So in the trunk, you're gonna pull the uh, little shroud out, the little cover, and underneath this cover, you'll find the fuel pump. You just remove these three Phillips screws and you'll have to kind of pry this up. It can be stuck on there pretty good, especially if it's never been removed before. And when you get it open, that's the fuel pump right there. And there's the connector. We can go ahead and get this disconnected and I'll show you how you can check to see if you're getting power. You're gonna want to disconnect it by squeezing on that piece on the left hand side. And then you kind of wiggle it while you pull up. If it's on there real good, you may want to kind of wedge in a flathead screwdriver down there at the bottom, but it will come up. Just be patient. Try not to be too rough with it. There we go. Now looking at this connector, it's a four pin connector. Two of these pins are for the gauge inside for the, for the car to know how much gas you have. But these two pins right here, those are what power the fuel pump. So one of those is a power, one of them is a ground, and the black one provides the ground. So that pin right there that my thumb is pointing at, that's where the ground is coming in. This one is where the power is coming in through that fuel pump relay. And if you have a bulb like this one, you can straighten the little leads on it, and you can actually push the bulb into the connector. Make sure to get it well seated in there. And if you're receiving a power and a ground, this bulb will light up. So if you see this bulb lighting up, but you don't hear the fuel pump running, then you know that you've got a problem there. And uh, from there, it's you know pretty quick step to getting the fuel pump replaced. You just get this line off here and get the collar off. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or more importantly, any advice about troubleshooting the fuel pump on your Honda Accord. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.